The technique of scratch testing precious metals is many decades old. It is very economical and, in experienced hands, is more reliable and precise than the electronic testers. The following is a very comprehensive training guide that should bring you, very quickly, up to speed, even if you've had no previous experience using this technique. Scratch testing can be used for gold, platinum, and silver, with different solutions for different metals. Test needles can also be employed. They provide additional precision when testing carat gold. Rub your ring, or other gold item, against the test stone, making several strong lines. Next, you'll apply a drop of solution to test the purity. But which solution to choose? By law, jewelry must be marked with its purity. So, the mark, 14K, means the gold is 14 24 pure. Choose the solution that corresponds with the mark stamped in the jewelry you are testing. Now, place a drop of test solution on the gold scratch mark you made. The gold scratch marks should not fade from the stone. If the gold fades, then the carrot is lower than expected and should be tested again. This time, with a lower carrot solution. For more precise testing, test needles can be employed. This is especially useful when testing very low carat jewelry, such as 6 and 8 carat. Additionally, most jewelry manufactured prior to 1982 is one half carat less than the marked carat. For example, older jewelry marked 14K is in reality 13.5K. So precise testing is important. First, make the ring scratch. Next, make a scratch with a needle that corresponds with the jewelry carrot being tested. Apply a drop of test solution to the ring scratch, and then add a drop to the needle scratch. If the ring is slightly less than the stamped carrot, then the mark left by the ring will immediately begin to fade, just a very little bit. And then continue to fade, very slowly, over time. The needle scratch will remain unchanged. Make a mark on the test stone, with the jewelry being tested. Add a drop of platinum test solution. If the item being tested is platinum, the mark will not fade or change color. The silver test is slightly different than the gold test. Instead of looking for the scratch mark to fade, we will look for a change in the color of the solution. Color changes in solution on a black stone can be hard to discern. A simple way to see the color is to blot the drop from the stone with a tissue or paper towel. Alternatively, you can apply the silver test solution directly on the metal. This technique will yield rapid and easily discernible color changes. Pure silver will turn the drop bright red. Sterling, darker red. 800 silver brown 500 silver green lead or tin will turn it yellow brass a dark brown and lastly nickel which will turn it blue some items you test may be base metal but heavily plated and can fool a standard scratch test. If you suspect this, file a small notch in an inconspicuous spot.
Then test this area by adding a drop of 22K solution. If the metal was plated, the solution will quickly change color, generally to green or brown. This concludes the scratch test video instructions. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.